An LAPD officer has been removed from field duty after a David Goldstein investigation. You saw the body camera video first here on CBS2. And as David shows us, LAPD Chief Charlie Beck is taking action against one officer, and his staff is looking into the entire issue. So I've reviewed the, uh, the investigative report uh, that CBS did. I found the video to raise some serious questions. LAPD Chief Charlie Beck talking about this video that we broadcast exclusively last week, taken from an LAPD body camera that a defense attorney claims shows an officer planting this tiny bag of drugs in his client's wallet. I did watch the broadcast, and what I saw on the tape um, was not dispositive in that it did not prove things one way or the other. The officer is uh, restricted from field duty. Beck told the police commission this morning that one officer seen on the video has been removed from field duty, but he wouldn't tell us which one. The department has launched a personnel investigation, and because of that, he says he can't make many comments. Because I am the final decider, I am the one that, that makes a decision about property rights of the officer involved, up to and including the loss of his employment. I can't draw my conclusions until I've seen the entire thing. And what about the defense attorney's claims? Oh yeah, he's doing his job. He's a defense attorney. I'm doing my job. I'm a police chief. But Police Commission President Steve Soboroff had no problem responding. Defense attorney is claiming this video proves that drugs were planted on his client. Well, what is your response that. to that? I don't believe that for a minute. You don't believe it? No, sir. Right after the officer motions to allegedly put the drugs in the wallet, he apparently activated the recording on the camera, but the previous 30 seconds was automatically saved. The chief announced today that the cameras have been modified to save the previous two minutes, giving the department more video to work with. The chief said the timing is just a coincidence. The cameras were reset before our investigation aired. As far as his investigation, he says there's no timetable. In the newsroom, I'm David Goldstein, CBS 2 News.